Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? Huh? I said, speak to me. Who are you? Up to three, you speak one. Huh? Huh? Who's there? I told you I'm a grandmother. Speak louder. Uh, One. Uh, okay, yo, okay, I'm a grandmother. Huh? I'm a grandmother, yo. What do you do in this body? Uh, she belongs to me. Ah! Huh? Dude, she belongs to me. What do you do? Uh, uh. Huh? I'm using her. Uh, uh. You are using her? Yeah. Ah! Okay, come here. Leave her. Come here. Come. Tell me. How do you use her? Speak now. I said, speak. How do you use her? How did you enter this body? Now, speak. How did you enter this body? I jumped in. Huh? I jumped in. You jump in, you will jump out. Jump out. I said, jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Out. Out. Come out. Out. In Jesus' name. of the womb. Hey! Jesus name. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for. Huh? There's nothing you can do. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Hey! Stop! Huh? Hey! Huh? 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 Come on! Thank you Lord. You are finished. Thank you Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? The king of the sea. Huh? The king of the sea. Speak louder. The king of the sea. What do you do in this body? So this was born, the father gave to me. This was born. What do you do in this body? What do you do in this body? Hey, 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 hey. Listen to me. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I said, stand up. Stand up. You want to take up from me? Huh? You want to take up from me? We are working with the idols. How did you enter this body? Uh, the Father sacrificed. How do you he stay in this body? It's a matter of Lift up your head. 
I said, lift up your head. Look here. Look at me. Look here. From today, you will never come back in this body. Jesus don't want you in this body. Come out! Out! Fire! Come out! Jesus' name. Uh, you go home and say, Annie, how are you? What? <laughs> You're in trouble. Annie, come. <clears throat> Thanks, Lord, I'm delivered. <laughs> Thanks, Lord, I'm delivered. Come here. Come. You said to me that... Uh, You said to me that you are a king in the sea. No, I'm not. You are not a king no. in the sea. I'm just suffering with the huh? demon. I'm just suffering with the demon. Those demons are so supposed to be sangoma. I'm not, and I don't want. They want you to be a sangoma. Uh, you don't want. No. Okay, lift up both of your hands. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus' name. How are you? My name is Mimi Ashu. I'm from Mozambique. The reason why I came here, I was suffered for evil spirit because they say I was supposed to be Sangoma. I even lost my teeth because they say when I was supposed to go to the sea, they say I must move all my. This is not my. Mm. So they say I'm supposed to take out my teeth because I'm supposed to go to the sea and then be Sangoma. So I see that I didn't know God since I born. This thing I've been suffering since I born. But, and then after where I was working, I met one lady and then I started to explain my problem, you see. And then that lady, she showed me, she said, no, do you know God? I said, I don't know God. I never heard about God. And then she's the one who explained to me and then she take me to this church. That's why I came here to this church. Mimi, when the man of God was delivering you, doing your deliverance, when she asked the demons, who are you? They said they are king of the sea, and the spirit says she has entered you through your father or by your father. And um, also that, you know, you're supposed to be a Sangoma. Can you just confirm that? Do you know anything more than what you have already told us? Yes. When I didn't grow up with my father, I didn't grow up with my mother. My mother, she died when I was three years. They say she died because of those things, I don't know. So I knew my, f because of those evil spirits, because she didn't accept also, but I think she didn't know God, I was not sure. So when, I didn't know my father, I didn't grow up with my father, but when I was supposed to get married for my first husband, they have to take me to know my father. But when I went to my father's house, my father explained to me that, no, you must know from now, you must pray a lot. I asked him why, he said, because you don't belong in this world. I said, where I belong? He said, I belong in uh, the mountain, you see. I said, can you explain to me that? My father said, no, he can't explain to me because I'm still young, but what I must know, I must keep on praying and go to church. But after I get my first, my, when I get married, the first husband, and then they chase me because of those evil spirits. They say they can't stay with me because I'm disturbing them. And then I get the second marriage with my second child. So when I had that child, when I was still pregnant, the big snake came inside in the house and then wanted to hit me in my stomach three times. And then when I had that child, the, stomach, the snake came inside, was almost staying with me in the house, you see. And I was always asking, but who, what is that? I was not running away because I was tired. And then after that, when I started to ask, ask, after that I see somebody wearing those Sangoma things. And then I started to ask, they said, no, we need you, that it must be Sangoma. And then those things, my child, when I'm, I'm with her, always she changed like a snake, my second child. Always she changed her body. At night, she started to, yeah, like she moved like a snake in the body. And after that, that thing, it used to sleep with her, making love with her, you see. And that thing was painful. See. And then I started to ask, I was asking people why, what am I must do, because I, was, I went to Sangoma, to Deben, different places, I couldn't help myself. It's now I get the lady, she was my friend, she told me that I must come here, and then I must, I must accept Jesus as the one who can solve my problem. And then Mimi, what is it that you believe Jesus has done for you today through the hand of Pastor Shiga? I 
believe not all today. The first day I went to the church, inside in the church, it was on the 20th March this year. The first day I went to the church, and then I sit to the world church in the Commissioner Street. I just sit as a Portuguese, Portuguese pastor. I just sit and then I start to listen what he was saying. And then I ask him what I must do because I got those things in my house for Sangomas, all those things. And then the pastor told me if you believe in God, you can take those things and throw it. But if you're scared, you can come and bring it to us and then throw it. So me, I stand and say, No, I'm the one who bought this thing and I'm the one I was accepting those things. By the faith I got now because I know God, I'll take it with my hand and then I'll throw it. And then I went and then I throw it. So my life from there, it came better, a little bit better. Mimi, my question was, what is it that you believe that the Lord Jesus has done for you today through the hand of the man of God, Pastor Shika? I believe that I'm delivered because even the way I feel before I went to him, it was very, very different. But now I feel even my body, even the way I stand, that I'm free in the name of Jesus. And what is it that you're going to do to ensure that the deliverance you receive today remains permanent? Come again? What is it that you're going to do to ensure that the deliverance you receive today remains permanent? I'll keep, I'll, keep, I'll keep coming to church, I'll keep on praying and um, asking for more advice and asking for more because I don't know very well about God and I don't know how to pray. But I'll keep on coming in church and trusting God and Jesus that is my deliverer. We know that as you seek the Lord Jesus. Uh, because he, he said in his word, you know, seek me and you shall find me. So as you seek him, you know, you'll definitely you'll find him and he will lead you, he will guide you as long as you open up your heart to him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in, 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 in closing, what can you say to somebody else out there who also is going through this same spirit that's been tormented? Snakes coming through, the kids, um, you know, changing into snakes, but they don't know what to do. How can you encourage them? What is it that they must do? What can I say? Because I know I got, I'm sure that there's too many people outside who are suffering about those things to be Sangoma, but they don't know God. What am I say to them? They must ask him for people who they know God, who they're going to church, you see, to teach them, to tell them about God. I know it's a little bit difficult. It's not easy just to accept it. But they must ask them and then go to them and read more Bible. The Bible is the, I think it's my foot. That when, if it, now, if I feel sad in my house, I open the Bible and I start to read. Even if I I went go to school, but I try to understand a little bit, and after that I come release in my life. Mimi, once again, we thank God for your life, and we know that as you make His word, the Bible, the standard of your life, He'll definitely appear in your situation in Jesus' name. Look, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Talk to me. Who are you? How are you? How are you? Look at me. You see the problem? Talk to me now. Who are you? Stop those nonsense. You must speak. Yes. Who are you? Yes. Who are you? Yes. Today you must speak. Yes. Who, who are you? Yes. Come on! Yes. Not in the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Come out! Out! Fire! Not in the name of Jesus. Fire! Lose it. Let it go. In Jesus' name. I said, Lose it. Lose it. You spiritual husband. Come out. 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 Jesus, Martin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.